Hello boys and girls, this is Professor Nelson from Electronic Speaking. Here we have a small circuit which we are going to feed with a 12 volt source. Negative to negative, positive to positive. And we have the circuit working correctly. Now we are going to reverse the polarities. Negative to positive, positive to negative. And it doesn't work. But something is happening. There you can see how the integrated circuit is burning. Look, it's really burning. Guys, this is how the integrated circuit was left. Completely burned and the breadboard also melted. You can see how it was burning. And it could even have caught fire. This happens when we sometimes reverse the polarity of the power supply without realizing it. We can also cause not only the board to burn but also the power supply and even cause a fire. Well, you have to be very careful with these details. But there is a circuit which I am going to show you that is not so complicated, which you could implement in your circuit to avoid these polarity reversal problems. So come with me and let's look at that circuit. Okay guys, in order to protect our circuit we're going to use a diode bridge. There we can see the terminals. One positive pin, alternating alternating, and negative. The same is true for this diode bridge. And the internal part is here. This would be the internal circuit of the diode bridge. Now we are going to connect this to the circuit in such a way that the positive input goes in here, and the negative input goes in here. In such a way that we always have positive and negative at the output. I will explain to you how this is going to work later. In the meantime, let's make the connections to this in the circuit that we have. Very well, we already have our diode bridge connected. The connections are the following. We have positive input to pin 2, or alternating input. Negative input to pin 3, or alternating input. And we have positive output through the green cable to the positive of the circuit. The negative output, or pin 4, through the brown cable to the negative of the circuit. So pin 4 is negative. Since we have the circuit connected to the diode bridge, we are going to energize it and see what happens. Well. Let's go. Very well, guys. Now we are going to energize the circuit. Negative to negative. Positive to positive. Okay, the circuit is working. Now we're going to reverse. Negative to positive. And positive to negative. And there it is connected. The power supply is reversed and nothing happens. Everything is working correctly. There you can see the circuit. Okay, so this diode bridge is a protection component and now we're going to explain how it works. Now this circuit is working based on the diode bridge. The alternating current inputs would be the positive and negative power inputs. The outputs would be positive and negative respectively. Therefore, if we put negative down here and positive up there, now what happens? 
Well, diode number one doesn't work because it's receiving positive at the cathode. However, diode number four does work because we have positive at the anode or positive. Therefore, positive can go to positive. The negative cannot pass through D3. But negative can pass through D2 because it is a cathode. So negative will go to negative. Now what happens if you reverse the polarities when you put positive here and put negative on top? Negative on top and positive on bottom. Well, at that moment, D3 will be able to conduct positive. From here, here. Negative will not be able to pass through D4. Because negative with anode will not be able to pass. But negative will be able to pass through D1. From here it will be able to go to negative. Therefore we will always have positive and negative at the output no matter if we make a mistake in the positive or negative connections. Now the problem with this is, it happens that we have a voltage drop or loss of approximately 1.4 volts. Because we are using two diodes. Two, two diodes. For example, in this case negative goes through D1. And positive will go through D3. So we have 07 here and 07 here. So we have a loss of about 1.4. Let's do the measurements and check that detail. Alright guys, let's do some measurements first at the voltage input. We measure the input. There we have 12 volts. Now we're going to measure the voltage output between positive and negative. Negative or pin 4 and positive or pin 1. There we have 10.8 volts. We have a loss of approximately 1.3 volts. But even with that loss, the circuit still works. Therefore, there will be no problem if the circuit has a loss of 1.3 volts since this diode bridge is a good protection circuit. In that way, you will not have any problems. Even if you reverse the polarities of the circuit, You will continue to have good operation. The current of this is 2 amps. The value of the current will depend on the circuit you want to protect. So I leave that to you. So do not forget to protect your circuit if you see it necessary. And if the video has been helpful to you, then do not forget that a like helps the channel a lot. See you in the next video. Bye bye.